undertake a sensory exploration. Explorations are often adventures usually associated with wild lands and faraway places where habitats are explored. In this adventure, the wild areas we explore will be around us. We will be explorers in search of natural sights, sounds, scents, textures, and tastes that will lead us to animals, plants, and other natural features that live nearby. This activity is best done in nature in one sense at a time, so please find a park if possible and pause when you need to. Before exploring, remember to have a buddy or tell someone where you're going. Bring water and snacks if you're going out for a long time. Wear sunscreen if it's a really sunny day. Be aware of your surroundings. Obey traffic rules and don't go anywhere that doesn't seem For this adventure, we will need something to write with, like a pen or pencil, and paper to write on, preferably a notebook. And of course, water and snacks. Our different perspectives might make us see things differently. In science, we try to see the world and not make quick judgments about bad or good. We will use all five senses to understand the world around us. Fine-tuning our sensory awareness helps us notice what is happening around us. We use senses all the time to notice our environment and collect data to respond. If we hear a strong hissing sound nearby, we may respond by calmly and safely stepping away from the sound. The sweet smell of a fruit may be a signal that it is ripe and ready to eat. Today, we will use our sense of sight, sound, smell, touch, and taste to discover animals, plants, and other features. We don't have to go very far. We can explore right where we are, and we can begin today. We will practice using all five senses in the sixth one too, a sense of wonder. We will first use our sight. Look high, low, and everywhere for shapes, not just triangles and squares, but notice the shape or outline of anything. A flower, the head of a bird, a cloud, the bark of a tree. We can also look for patterns. To find them, look for repeated distinctive markings like the edge of a leaf or petals of a flower. Next, we will focus on what we can hear. When we get to a comfortable area, we can sit quietly and practice focused listening. You can choose to lie on your back and listen, or you can continue to walk as silently as you can. Once we are relaxed and tuned into our surroundings, we will draw a sound map. We will try to start by listening for sounds that are far away. Distant sounds might be a barking dog, a plane, or traffic. Then move to the next circle and draw sounds that are closer to you, like the rustling wind, flow of water, or your breathing. To explore our sense of touch, we will find natural objects that have different textures. Look for objects in nature that may be smooth, soft, rough, sharp, dull, feathery, wet, or dry. But be careful not to pick up sharp or dangerous objects. And also be careful not to touch poison oak and poison ivy. Explorers enjoy natural objects where they are without removing or breaking them. Collecting natural objects can damage shelter for living things or harm living things themselves. As you touch things that are safe to touch, think of the words you would use to describe them. Try to think about why they feel that way. Why does this rock feel smooth? Why does this leaf feel wet? The sense of touch not only informs us about the object, it also makes us feel a certain way, like happy, timid, or calm. Now we will use our sense of smell. First, take in several breaths of fresh air, breathing through your nose. What do you notice when you pay attention to breathing deeply with your nose? In this part of the sensory trail, try to identify five unique natural scents. Again, we will search high and low to find unique scents. Scents may come from flowering bushes, fruiting trees, or even a clump of soil. Move in close to sniff flowers, fruit, seeds, bark, sap, and leaves. Notice scents of plants by rubbing a finger and thumb gently over a leaf. Notice there are different parts of a plant, like the flower, the leaf, the fruit, the bark, the sap, and each one might have a unique scent. Again, please do not touch poison ivy and poison oak. Finally, we'll use our sense of taste. Using the sense of taste requires common sense, knowing what can be tasted and what should be left alone. Many plants and berries can cause a severe reaction when touched or eaten. However, many more plants are non-irritating and edible and used for medicinal purposes. We will not be eating anything in nature. Instead, we are going to try to find an animal and see how it eats and what it eats. 
Choose a comfortable area that might be an attractive food source, like water, a tree with fruit, a flowering plant, or a bird feeder. Lastly, we're gonna head on home and enjoy our favorite snack or meal. That concludes the end of our sensory trail. Thanks for following along and see you next time.